Hello everyone, welcome back to Conspirocracy. Alright, so I've been getting progressively frustrated with this game. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use a walkthrough a lot more. Because I'm really not finding the puzzles very fun at all. But at the same time, I think there's enough in this game that I do like that I can still get enjoyment out of it. As long as I'm not getting so frustrated with the puzzles. And the best way to do that is to simply use a walkthrough liberally. Not for everything necessarily, just, you know, if I get kind of stuck, I'll just use it to push me along. So I'm going to get as much joy out of this game as I can, basically. So I looked at the walkthrough to figure out what to do next. So, well, let me just recap. I've just gotten the Certificate of Life, but... Even after doing that, and the whole medical thing, it didn't really open up any new pathways I could think of to get the other parts of the things I need to restore my identity. So I looked up the walkthrough, and now I know what to do next. I need to go to the restaurant. Also, I need to avoid getting hit by anything, because pretty much any stress-increasing thing will kill me at this point. So I need to go to the restaurant. And I apparently need to get into the kitchen for something. I'm not sure what yet. Hey, man. That's for... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, so apparently what I need to do here is I need to stuff the tie into the toilet. And then flush it, which should cause it to overfill. I've stuffed the tie into this toilet. Frankly, I doubt a tie is big enough to really do that. Maybe. I don't know. Ties really aren't that big, though. Anyway. Ew. What the? It's all yellow. It's like lemonade or something. That is really disgusting. Oh, man. Not again. Okay, so now he's not looking, so I should be able to go into the kitchen. There's a... Oh my yeah, god. This place is disgusting. You're not supposed to be here. Okay, my stress just went up a little bit just from seeing the kitchen. I have to be honest. If I get stuck in a situation where I can't make my stress go down, and I have to, like, restart the game, or go back a long time to get my stress to go down enough to complete it, I'm probably going to stop playing. But for now, let's hope I can do something to reduce my stress. Put this in the right place. Uh, here we go. Actually, you know what? I might be able to reduce my stress actually by doing this game. Somebody was telling me a little bit about how it works, and I suppose if you do it right, it would probably reduce your stress. Yeah. I don't really feel like doing it, though. It's a fire extinguisher. No sign of a key. This place is disgusting. Why do I find myself constantly open? No key there. Hmm. Butcher's block. It's a dismembered chicken. No sign of a key. There's even blood on the ground. Ugh. It's a chopping block. Recently used. <laughs> I guess the mouse trap wasn't very effective, huh? Unless the mouse is... Wait, is there actually a mouse in there? I think that's a mouse. Looks like they caught a mouse. No sign of a key there. Ugh. Oh, there's actually a dead mouse just in the kitchen. That is seriously gross. I'm not touching that. I don't care what you say. Yeah, I, I wouldn't touch it either. Chili powder. Wait, what chili powder? The yellow stuff? I don't think chili powder's yellow. I'm not in the mood for Mexican right now. Hmm. 
There's a footprint in this chili powder. Looks like a high-heeled shoe. High-heeled? What about the woman out there? She's like in a business suit and stuff, right? Maybe she has heels, but... Why would that matter? Door to alley. I don't really have anything to say about it. Fasten. Hmm, torn cloth. It looks like a piece of torn blue clothing. Ooh, isn't she wearing blue? I don't need this. That window is left open. And there are some scratches up there. Alright, so somebody came in here with heels, through the window, and tore her clothing on this. I can't reach it. Hold on, can I talk to her? Do I want to talk to her? Have you seen a key? Did anyone drop a small silver key last night? See? That key belongs to somebody I know. Can I have it? No. Okay, then. Where is it? Where is the key? I live here last night. Now it's gone. Alfred, you're kidding. So someone came in here and stole it. Okay. I see the window is propped open. Is that unusual? Yes. Window is sometimes... Okay, I'm sorry, but that dialogue is horrendous. There's a piece of torn cloth on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's possible that you've had a break-in? Oh. Perhaps somebody stole the key from this room and went out the back exit. I suspect that they left the chili trail. The chili trail? Tell me about your food preparation. No wonder your restaurant is empty. Look at this kitchen. You're going to give somebody food poisoning. Okay. No, seriously, you have a pool of chicken blood on the floor. Okay. Oh my god, that dialogue. We are not that, I, I'm sorry, but that dialogue is so freaking obnoxious, I need to leave immediately. Please get me out of here. I've prompt the back door open. It should be easy to get back in this way. Ah. There's a trail of chili powder. <laughs> How much chili powder did they get on them to trail it all the way over here? Like, down the street, hundreds of feet. That is amazing. Actually, what about the, yeah, what about the woman in here? She has a blue coat. And high heels. Mr. Cortez, my name is Mr. Peck. I am a health inspector for the city of Toronto. Uh-oh. It should not surprise you that this restaurant has failed every single inspection we have performed over the past three months. Perhaps if I made a donation to you and your organization, you could look the other way? Article 6, subsection 3 of the Public Health Inspector's Code prohibits my accepting of monetary bribes from food service establishments. Ah, but the Public Health Inspector Code says nothing about non-monetary bribes, including gift certificates in lieu of cash. Very true! Furthermore, it would be a stretch to suggest that what you provide here is food anyway. Thank you for your support. Just walked through me. She looks pretty angry. Hello. Mm hmm. Well, I think that went rather. Okay then. Not sure if she's missing a bit of cloth. Can't really tell. And I don't have it in my inventory to use on her to trigger some sort of dialogue. So I guess I'm just gonna follow the trail. Oh, it goes inside of the bank. Hmm. Well, she's the only one with blue cloth. Whoops. Wrong button. Gotta remember, there's three separate menus. There's the menu, and then there's the phone menu, and then there's the app menu. Or the, the tablet menu.
Yes, I just skipped save 15, because I'm cool like that. I'm too cool for 15, it's a lame number. Good morning, how can I help you? Well, you can give me the key that you stole. Jacuz! It was you in the Mexican restaurant with the bank manager's key. Ha! What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh? Allow me to explain. A woman wearing your clothes climbed into the restaurant through the kitchen window, stole the key, and tracked chili powder all the way back to this bank. What was your plan? Wait until your boss leaves and steal the money? Whoa, whoa! Keep it down! Yes, I took the key, but I wasn't going to steal anything. I've been working for that moron for five years. He breaks the vault, then decides to keep all the bank's money in his filing cabinet. He gets drunk and then loses the damn key for the cabinet. We have our reputation to think about. Heck yeah, I picked it up. And then I called the regional office to request our monthly pickup. When they show up and find out he's lost the key, my boss will get what he deserves. I see. That's not petty at all. Look, if I give you the key now, will you just tell him you found it in the restaurant? I'll think about it, but I'll definitely tell him if you don't give it to me. Fine. We probably shouldn't say anything else to each other, okay? He's right back there in his big, undeserved office. Okay, then. Now, I'm trying to remember why I'm doing this. I need to give him the key so he will... What? Is this to get the air... Uh, frequent flyer money thing? Something to do with the ticket I need, right? I can't remember what exactly. You found it. This is wonderful. Where was it? I could actually accuse the bank teller. No, she's right. He should totally be fired. So I'm gonna lie on her behalf. It was in the Mexican restaurant, just like you said. Ha! Well, that's a relief. A deal is a deal. You want a fancy credit card? Let's see what we can do. Name? David Paulson. And your address? 1445 Maitland Avenue, Toronto, M4Y 9K5. Okay, great. Your card will be mailed to you right away. That's it? That's all you need? You didn't even ask for ID. Sir, we issued a credit card to a goat a couple of days ago. We really don't care. And my air miles? They'll be granted to you when you activate your card. But what about the postal strike? I, I can't get my mail. Oh, yeah. I guess it will be a while. Okay, then. <laughs> Wonderful. So, I guess I need to figure out this postal strike thing, huh? So I'm making headway on some things, but again, they're not really revealing anything else, like unlocking any other things that I can think of to do. So I've done this credit card, but I still have no idea what to do for the postal strike. Okay. Mm, I'm looking at the walkthrough right now. Okay. Return to the postal strike and speak to the union leader, is what it says, okay. Hey, that riot you started got management nervous about their image. We think they might be finally willing to negotiate. Would you be willing to mediate between us? They might receive our demands better if it's coming from a neutral third party. Okay. Where can I find them? I heard that the CEO is currently camped out at Los Perros Locos. I'll meet you there. No ifs! No, no. Hey, yes, yes, that's yes. Riot you start come back. Okay, so the angry woman. Woman at the restaurant. Gotcha. Feel a pride. Feel a we won't. Yes, yes, yes. Well, 
Okay, now let's avoid getting my toe trapped on a car. Because that will kill me like it did last time. That sucked. It's like, oh no, the gust from a car! I'm dead! Ugh. Alright, save here. I'm probably going to get this wrong about 20 times before I mediate correctly. This strike is costing us millions by the day. It needs to end. Hmm. Alright, so I can go with the mediator thing or I can say other stuff. What do these other things do? Proposal. I have an offer for you to consider. Okay, let's hear it. Regarding the union's complaints about the employee lounge. Hmm. Okay, so from very small to very huge, Olympic sized swimming pool, nightclub, and tennis court. <laughs> Which just seems a tad unrealistic. Middle option new pool table and couches. Management puts a pool table and a few couches in the employee lounge. Uh huh. Regarding the demand to be allowed to sleep on the job. Yeah, I'll just go with the... I'll just go with the, the medium option, I guess. 45 minutes. Management should allow employees to take a 45-minute nap midday every Friday. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Regarding the demand for shorter work hours... Frankly, an eight-hour day seems perfectly reasonable. Seven? Shifts will be an hour shorter, as employees will now only work a seven-hour day. Mm hmm Regarding the demand to be allowed to drink on the job... Hmm... Normally I'd say never, but... I guess I gotta give them something. Special occasions only? Employees will be permitted to have one drink at Christmas time or during an office party. Right. Well, let's discuss your proposal. I'm not thrilled about giving these lazy peasants more excuses to relax. But if a pool table and couches will end this strike, I'll go along. I have to say, I'm really uncomfortable with permitting a 45-minute nap on Fridays. We have an image to keep up. This doesn't help. But if this is of high importance to the Union, I am prepared to let it slide. The issue of working hours is too important for us to consent any amount of time to the Union. In summary, we must reject this proposal. Okay. Let's try that again. This... And what is, what is this management position? So, what are the issues here? The union has given us a bunch of, uh, okay. by far, the most absurd and unreasonable... Okay, so they don't like the, doesn't like the sleeping. On top of that, our second major concern is their demands for shorter workouts. If that okay. wasn't enough, they want a pool table. They've even demanded... So, let's try this again. I have an... Oh, regard... So, same here. Regard. Um... I guess just no to the sleeping. The you okay. Regarding the demand. And no to that. Okay. Regarding the and special occasions. Employee. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm mm -hmm. not thrilled about. But if mm -hmm. at least they've dropped their childish demand to be able to take a nap at work, I'm happy about that. We're happy the union has dropped their request for shorter hours. In summary. We agree to this proposal as it stands. Speak to the Union and see if they will accept the same package. I have a feeling it's not good enough. It works for them, but I don't think the Union's gonna like it. We can't afford to keep this strike going much longer. The government will legislate us back to work. Alright, what's your position? So, what are the issues here? Our most important issue is the state of the employee lounge. The current lounge is a broom closet with a poster of the CEO flipping us the bird. <laughs> Our second major requirement is shorter work hours for salaried staff. Shifts must be shortened if we're going to be able to maintain concentration when sorting and distributing. 
We also want to see an end to the discipline against employees who have a beer at lunch. We also want the management to recognize the benefit to both employee health and business productivity if we're allowed to take short midday naps. Okay, but yeah, pretty sure my proposal is not going to work, but let's see. I have an offer for you. Okay. Regarding the... Ma I have a feeling it's going to take a long time. Management is willing to... Uh-huh. Regarding the... Ma regarding the... Mm-hmm. Employee... Regarding the... Employee... Mm. Right, well, let's discuss your proposal. We're satisfied with the management proposal to throw a pool table and some couches into the employee lounge. Okay, excellent. But I want to note that this is but a small tribute when you consider what luxuries are available to them. I can't go back to the team empty-handed on the napping issue. Management will have to do better. The issue of working hours is too important for us to accept the status quo from management. In summary, we must reject this proposal. Right. This strike. The union leader has asked me to meet you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to try and. Okay. I have an oh. regard. What if I went up on the pool table? What if I threw in a jacuzzi? Nah. Uh -huh. Regard. Okay, let's just do a little bit of something. Occasional 30 minute power nap. Management should look the other. Mm -hmm. Regarding the. You didn't say they wouldn't budge on this. Seven hours? I'm pretty sure that's just gonna make it rejected. Shifts. Regarding the employee. Right. I'm not okay. thrilled, but mm -hmm. an occasional 30 minute power. Ugh, fine. But we'll be extending work hours to be 30 minutes later. The issue of working out. But because the union has compromised on the more important napping issue, we're prepared to agree to a seven hour shift. In summary, we. I will propose a same. Okay, I think I've got it. We can't afford. I have. Okay. Regarding. Manage. Uh huh. Regard. Manage. Regard. Shifts. Regard. Employee. Right, well, let's. We're satisfied, but mm -hmm. I want to note that this is mm -hmm. an occasional. Th it's not much, but I guess mm -hmm. the issue of working hours is too important for us to accept only oh, a seven crap. hour day. Particularly when we're not being heard on a number of other issues. In summary, we. Ah, seven hour day is not enough. Seven hour day is not enough? Okay. This. I have an offer. Okay. What if I ask for more? What if I ask for a jacuzzi too? Mm. And then the same for everything else. Shifts. Employ I have to say, the damn jacuzzi in the employee. Mm -hmm. This is a place of. But if it will put an okay. end to okay, this. Okay. Okay, they'll give strike, in to that. I'll reluct an occasional. Th Ugh. The mm -hmm. but because the union has compromised. In I will propose a. Okay, maybe the the union will budge on the seven hours now that they have a jacuzzi. We can't afford. I have an oh. re manage mm -hmm. regarding manage re shifts re employee. For We're pleased. An occasional thirty minute. It's not mm -hmm. the issue of working hours, but because the management has been okay, so here cooperative we go. on the employee lounge issue, we're prepared to agree to a seven-hour shift. In summary, we must reject this proposal. Wait. Wait, what? I must have misread that. I thought you're. What the? We can't Hold on. Afford to keep the strike going. I have an offer. Okay. Regard. What went wrong? Man. Man. Shift. Employee. We're pleased to okay. see that the management has taken our concerns about the employee uh -huh. and occasional thirty. It's not much, but I guess if that's the best they're we going can go to along offer, with it. the issue of working hours is important. But because the management has been so cooperative on the employee lounge issue, we're prepared to agree to a seven-hour shift. In summary, we must read. What the hell? We, we he just said he agrees to it. It's fine, and then he says I reject it. What? Okay, something's bugged. Are you kidding me? He just said it's fine, and yet it's not working. Okay, let me look at the walkthrough. 
No, it actually doesn't say what to do. It just says negotiate an agreement between the two parties to end the strike. It doesn't tell me what to say. I, It seems like I have it, but for some reason they still reject it. Okay. This... I've... Oh, regard... Okay, so what if I do less... For here, what if I do the just pool table and couches? Man uh, Occasional nap. A six hour day? Uh, regard... Employ... Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not thrilled, but if an occasional... Ugh. The issue of working out... In summary... This... Okay. So, the bond, if that... They, Let's try even weaker. I've... Oh, regard... Just, just a pool table. Man then an occasional nap. A six hour day. Uh, Special occasions. I suppose we can. It might okay. come down. An occasional. F Ugh. The issue of work. I'm okay with employees having a glass of wine on a holiday. In summary. All right. So they're not going to give six hours. This. I have an. Oh. Let's try Olympic sized swimming pool. Management will commit. Regarding the demand. <laughs> and then everything else the same as before. Seven hours. Empl right. These sorts of requests. The swimming pool. There mm -hmm. is absolute an occasional 30 minute power. Ugh. The issue of. But because the union has. In summary. Right. So, yeah, that's not going to work. I oh, regard. So, the most I can push here is the pool table, jacuzzi, and couches. Mad. Mm. Regard. Managed. Regard. Seven hours is the most I can push Cheers. here. Regard. What if I push more with the drinking occasionally? Management will turn a blind eye to occasional public intoxication when the employee otherwise is a good track. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh -huh. Right. I mm. have to say, the this mm -hmm. is a place. But if it okay. all an occasional, mm -hmm. ugh, mm -hmm. the ish. But be mm -hmm. I can turn a blind eye to the occasional tipsy postal worker if it just means people will get back to work. In summary. Okay. Out. Now I think I actually found it. We can't afford. I have an okay. regard. I just realized what a loathsome puzzle this is. I'm sorry, but this is a really, really bad puzzle. It just involves beating your head against a wall and clicking through about a million bits of dialogue that you've already heard. It is really, really bad. Okay. Manage regard. Please let this work. Manage regard. Shift regard. Man uh, we're pleased to see mm -hmm. an occasional thing. Mm -hmm. It's not my mm -hmm. issue, mm -hmm. but because the man mm -hmm. we're satisfied with the management offered, cool. I didn't expect it. In okay. summary, cool. I have spoke. Excellent. Shake hands. Everybody's happy. They look like they're going to kiss. Oh, they, <laughs> they actually did kiss. <laughs> okay. Uh, it looks like his eyes are coming out of his head, literally. Bye. And that didn't even reduce my stress. <sighs> that was such a loathsome puzzle. Just... Oh. Okay, so now I can get into the office building. I can collect my mail or something. I better save it before I get hit by a car. I'm going to skip 19, because I'm cool like that, too. Okie dokie. Oh my. Oh god. This is going to be some kind of awful pixel hunt, isn't it? Okay, I recognize that they're hanging a lantern on the pixel hunt part, but if it actually makes me pixel hunt, I'm not okay with that. There's got to be some easier way to find... Easy way. Oh, postal scanner. There you go. This must be what the postal workers use to scan packages. <laughs> it's actually a helmet that you put on. Uh, goggles. Postal cam. Hmm. Okay, oh god. 
wait, I can show narcotics. Oh, wow, there's a lot of drugs. What about radioactive? <laughs> there's a lot of radioactive mail. Toxic? Ugh. Bees? <laughs> this one has bees, huh? Alright, how do I take this thing off? How do I take this thing off? Um... I can't even see the menu properly. Okay, well I'm gonna open up the bees. Cause I can. Oh, here we go. This is undoubtedly going to kill me. If not directly, then indirectly from stress. Pick it up. Come on. Are you serious? You just showed me a box full of bees and I can't even open it? Man, what a tease. Okay, so what am I looking for? Um, I need my card. Don't I need, like, a passport, too? Hold on. Hmm. It's here and then here, right? Yeah. Steal the barista's passport from the post office. Yeah, it's a credit card and a passport. Gotcha. This must be what the... Banking, all right. All bank statements, credit cards, investments. This is a very strange device. I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist in the real world. Okay, there's only one. A lot of investments. My credit card didn't arrive, but they did send me my frequent flyer miles. Okay, excellent. Frequent flyer card. Now I need the passport. This must be what the... So it'd be a legal document, right? Or, no, that'd be government. Yeah. Uh, passports. Welfare checks. Not a few of them. Tax audits. Quite a few of them. Passports. One. There's got to be some easy... I... Did I point to the wrong one? Oh, here we go. I was a pixel off. A passport belonging to a certain Sean Vandertrap, barista extraordinaire. I think I'm just going to hold on to this. Alright, so what exactly am I doing with his passport, though? Like, it's... It would have his information, not mine, right? So what use is it to me? I'm not entirely sure. Like, do I have everything I need to go fly now? Let me check my to-do list in just a second. After I leave the screen. Status extreme blood pressure. Yep, just fly to Chikenistan and obtain your birth certificate. Okay, yeah, I have his passport. What if I give it to him? Can I? I mean, he said he's gonna hold on to it, so I'm assuming that's a no. I should probably hold on. Okay. This. And I don't have my credit card, so I can't actually buy. Like, there's something I was, I was gonna do at the embassy. But I couldn't do it, I needed money, right? Let's go check it out really quickly. I'm fearing that going on the bus to get to the airport is gonna stress me out to the point where I just die. This 
really weird. Sometimes you open a door just by walking into it because it's an automatic door, and sometimes you need to actually open it by using the hand icon. It's very strange. Here's my passport. I want a visitor's visa. Okay, it's $50 charge. How you be paying? No, oh, right. Right. She said she's open for bribes, but I don't... Do I have any? Uh, coffee? Can I bribe you with coffee? You I look don't thirsty. Think she would want my cold coffee. What, what do you mean it's cold? Oh, it is cold. Hmm. Would she want my warm coffee? I don't. She, I don't think she'd want any of these other things. There's a vending machine, but I have no money. I could try getting warm coffee. I should be able to refill it. I guess I'll go try that. If not, I'm gonna go to the airport. But no, I mean, I need the visitor's thing, right? Give me a fresh brew. I don't think he would. No, I know he doesn't want. It. I want. I want new coffee. Oh, whatever. Um. Let me just take a peek. Look. Uh, take a peek at the walkthrough. Hmm. All right. It's just. It's going through the embassy thing, like taking the Allen the Allen key and changing it to the number of my ticket. That's already done. You can bribe with the gift card. Wait, what? What gift card? I don't have a gift card. Uh, apparently I'm missing a gift card to bribe with. Okay, let me click out of the game. What gift card? Show the bartender... Wait, what the... Show the bartender your badge and pose as a health inspector to get a gift certificate. My what? Uh, but I don't have one. I have a security pass and I have a bus pass. Okay, now we're moving one step back. Um, badge. How, how do you get the badge? Pick up the toy badge from the hat in the toy store. You, th th okay. Okay. We're regressing here. Pick up the toy badge from the toy store, then use it to get the gift card. Use that to bribe her. Okay. No, 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 don't go on the road. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, God. Hmm, from the hat. What hat? Here? Oh. This is what I needed. Hold on, everyone. This is this is what I needed to click on. I want to literally count the pixels of this hotspot. Let's count them. Let's count them together. Are you following? Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
10. Did I count that wrong? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, this hotspot is literally 10 pixels. And there's no hotspot indicator in this game. I can't imagine how I missed it. <laughs> oh my god. Can I help you with something? No. 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 I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Wait, did I actually take it? Hold on, did I actually take it? I didn't, did I? I, I think I need to... Okay, I need to make him leave. We have regressed even further. So we gotta call the thing. Hello? I'll be right. You're gonna face through me again, aren't you? I don't like it when you do that. Oh my god, it hurts! <gasps> oh, never mind, he walked behind me. Okay. Hopefully he won't notice. Thank you. See, you... You enter the toy store by using this walk icon, because the door opens automatically from the outside. However, to leave the store, it doesn't open automatically and you have to switch to the hand icon. I should take advantage of the fact that the store... I've already taken advantage of the fact that the store is... <sighs> take a breath. Take a breath. Okay. If I wait long enough, you'll come back. There we go. I don't care what you have to say. And I have to wait for him to walk before I can regain control of my legs. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. You have to use the hand, your hand, to get outside the store, but you use your feet to get inside. Okay. Okay. Then we get the gift certificate. I'd like to point out that while doing all of these progress, all of these things that are making progress in my quest, it's not reducing my stress at all. I want to stay. I'm a. Thank you. Seriously, looking at a dirty kitchen or failing at playing this game here raises your stress. But getting your certificate of life and getting this toy badge and getting the gift certificate and all that stuff doesn't take away a bit of your stress. Oh look, this place is the same. Use the hand to get out, but the feet to get in. Let's save again. I'm taking greater leaps and strides in my saves. Before I was skipping one, now I'm skipping two. Because I can, I live on the edge. Except Dave. Hmm. You know. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's my passport. Okay. <laughs> I need to fill out the form. Uh. Okay. Purpose of visit. vacation. How long are you planning to stay in Jakantistan? It's certainly less than five weeks. Will you be acquiring a yak during your stay in Jakantistan? 
Uh, no yaks. No, no yaks. How many kilograms of cabbage do you consume in a given week? Less than five. Does your beard conform with the tenements of Brockluckus Brockluckanism? There we go. Eh, only on weekdays. Will you be bringing flax seeds or David Bowie albums into Chicanistan? Maybe a David Bowie album. <laughs> okay, very good. I stamp visa. Is this first trip to Chickenistan? Yes, it is. Okay. Then I give you this pamphlet. You should read. Will do. That didn't seem to reduce my stress at all either. Where's my pamphlet? No, no, seriously, where's my pamphlet? I... Okay. I don't actually have it, or... Right, I'm gonna leave now. Now I need to make it to the airport without dying. Which means I need to make it through the bus without dying. Walk faster. Faster, please. You know, hold on, I actually need... Did I write this down? I'm looking through my notes. Or, oh, no, go, go off the screen. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna have to read something. Oh wait, the pamphlet's in my tablet, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Should be here, right? Yeah, embassy pamphlet. Okay. People's Simple Guide to Glorious Nation of Chikenistan. Chikit, do I actually want to read this? How long is it? Hmm. I'll skim it. Landlocked desert country located in the heart of Asia. It's economically considered poor. That doesn't surprise me. Mm-hmm. Earlier this decade, M Molug, Molug, Molog, tribesmen overthrew the tyrant monarch Capricious IV and installed in jest a popular rooster as the nation's new king. <laughs> in a strange twist of fate, the rooster was able to consolidate power far more effectively than its predecessor and proved to be a far more oppressive dictator despite having only the intelligence of a lower order avian. Chikenistan is now governed by an autocratic, militaristic regime. Western relations with the country are tense. Mm-hmm. Tourists traveling to Chikanistan should be wary of bandits when crossing the desert, and always be respectful of local laws and customs. Okay. Only has a few areas that might appeal to adventurous tourists. The Burj Citadel in the far west, the Twin Palaces to the south, and the Salt Flats to the east. Next to the unmistakable Zara Mountain. Exports. Primary exports are gold, copper, bismuth, precious gems, cows, pigs, milk, and corn. The mining sector is concentrated mostly on the arid eastern border, while the agricultural sector is mostly located in the more fertile western crescent. I'm oh, sorry, western croissant. Passport. Shrevnik. English. Lursky. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, translations. Hmm. I feel like I might need this. In fact, I'm gonna write it down. 
Okay. Let's write it down. Lursky. Chikanistan? Chikaneri? I think I can remember that one. Taurus is... Brock Cluckin. Okay, one more. Food is Wooston. Okay. Got it. Now, here's what I needed to read. There's something in here that tells me what to look for on buses to avoid stress, and I don't remember what it is. So let's find it. Mm hmm. Mm, never pay for coffee. Outsmart public transit. Okay. Okay, so you're looking for intoxicated, recent maintenance, and smelly. Okay. I'm hoping I can avoid any stress by doing that, rather than simply reducing stress, because I really can't take any stress. How do I use this? Oh, here we go. Okay, so intoxication, 4%. Oh, that's quite low. Actually, that's really low. Average is 25. Recently maintained. Nine months ago. Eh. It's better than the average. Smelly. Ooh, it's really smelly. No. Okay, how do I... I'm not sure how to make the bus come. Do I click on something? Maybe I just wait. Okay, last ma- Oh god, the maintenance is horrible. No. This is really what I'm going to be doing, is just waiting for the right bus. I think I just have to wait. I think I literally just have to wait. Clicking on the bench, clicking on the sign doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, the maintenance is even worse. 22 months. I don't know if I'm going to get one that's perfect. I might have to take one that's just better than average. This is seriously wearing on my patience. This is not an interesting gameplay mechanic, honestly. It's not at all. It's just time consuming. Ooh, maintenance is one month. That's extremely good. Body odor, extremely low. Driver intoxication, 0%. Perfect bus. Airport. You had a pretty relaxing bus ride. Oh! So getting my certificate of life and making all that progress did nothing, but a good bus ride improved things. Okay. Right, I feel like I'm still going to be missing something because I know that this card I have, the security pass, can, if it has my picture on it, which it doesn't yet, can take me into a room in the airport, which I'm feeling like I probably need to do that. Otherwise, why would I have it? Unless it's for the return trip or something. I don't know. Okay, so where do I... Where do I use my, my thing? Because this guy's taking up this. I don't think he can. I don't think he can. And for some reason, the other machines I can't use. There's one that said you can't stand back here. Can I actually use these though? It doesn't appear I can. Oh no, that's not Jakanistan. What the hell? I thought something said Jakanistan. I can 
ask this guy to leave. Can you please? The machine. I am asking. Okay then. Mm, can I bribe him to f off? I'll show him my toy badge. Yeah. I don't think he'll. Hmm. <laughs> what about my security pass? He's not going to be. Okay. What if I beat him over the head with an Allen key? Or cut him up with a plastic knife? Hmm. Let me glance at the walkthrough. Okay, take a bus to the airport. Look at the suitcase at the guy blocking the machine. Well, I can do something with the suitcase? The tag says Manesh Patel. That means nothing to me. That doesn't belong. Well, no kidding. Okay, what could I do to the suitcase? Spill coffee over it? That didn't work. Seriously, what could I do to a suitcase? Okay. Walk to the information booth. And page the passenger. Walk to the information booth and page the passenger. What? I don't, I don't even know where the information booth is. How would I page him? How? Just based on his name? Or... What? I've never even had a pager. I don't even know how they work. Where's this booth? I know there's a guy selling burgers over here to the right, but I don't remember an information booth. Customer service? Does that count? Welcome to Pearson in an Can I I don't understand. At airports, can you is this a thing? I've never been on a plane before. If you know someone's name, can you just walk up to customer service and ask them to page a person? What? Can you please page a pat? Of course. What? His name is Manesh Patel. Sure thing. We'll be just Okay. I don't understand. I've never been on a plane before. I've never set foot in an airport. I don't get it. Is this a thing? Does it, someone tell me, is this a thing? If you've been to an airport before, is this actually a thing? And if it is, why? Is that for like, if you're trying to pick someone up, you, you can page them so they know you're there? Like, Paging you know. passenger Patel. Please come to customer service. Yeah, is that to pick people up? Like, if you're there to pick someone up, you can tell them to do that, and then they can just meet you at customer service or something? I, I don't know. As someone who's never been in an airport before, that never would have occurred to me. It says I've got enough points for an overseas flight. Yay! Okay, I want... Mm-hmm. Leaving... Not check... I love how he turns directly around to talk to me. This ticket says it's for Kansas City, not Jakarnistan. Uh, what? Great. So used up all my miles on the wrong ticket, right? Should I talk to this guy? Hello. If you're, you'll soon find. Wrong destination. I booked a flight for Jakarnistan, but the ticket says Kansas City. Ah, yes. The flight from Kansas City departs from gate two. I don't care about that. I want to board the flight to Jakarnistan. Well, your ticket says gate two. You'll need to proceed to gate two to board. But I don't want to go to Kansas City. Then why did you buy a ticket there? Mm. Refund? Security? What do I need to know before going through security? Ensure that you are not carrying any liquids. No knives, scissors, or sharp objects. 
No firearms, no power tools, no martial arts equipment, no explosives or flammable materials. And make sure you have your ticket and your passport. Oh, and if you're traveling to a country that requires it, make sure you have your visa stamp in your passport. Okay, so I need to dump my coffee and my plastic knife, probably. What flight is departing from Gate 1? There is a flight to Chikenistan departing from Gate 1 shortly. But you need to go to Gate 2. Mm -hmm. I demand a refund on this ticket. Refunds are not available on flights departing the same day. But my ticket has the wrong information on it. I'm sorry. I don't have any authority over that machine in front of me. In fact, that machine's been with the company longer than I have. <laughs> okay then. So do I just need to sneak past security? By using my security pass? Just to get into gate one? And how am I going to dump this coffee? Like, how do I just dump something? I can't just use it on the world, can I? I need to dump it in, like, the trash or the sink. Actually, wait a minute. I think there's a trash can here, isn't there? Hmm. Let's go take a look. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so let's toss my cold coffee. Gone. And my knife. I'm not ready to get rid of this. Okay. Apparently I still need it for God knows what. I've already cut out the scrap of paper, I just need something to put it on the security pass. But what? Alright, well I'm certainly not getting through security with a plastic knife on me. And if I show him the security pass... I doubt he'll... He just says it doesn't look anything like me. Because, well, it's not me. Here's my eye, sir. That pic so, what am I missing? Mm-hmm. Go to the airport burger kiosk and pick up the knife and the maple syrup. Oh. I see. That's probably a good 20 pixels there. Right next to a bunch of other things I can't pick up. God, why doesn't this game just have a hotspot indicator? I don't understand. Like, honestly, if it's okay if to put in small objects that are hard to click on. If there's a hotspot indicator, then it's no big deal. You can't miss anything. But it doesn't have one. I don't get it. So now that should allow me to stick the thing to the thing. Yep. You pour the sticky sugary maple syrup onto the back of the photo, creating a sloppy mess. Wonderful. <laughs> you slap your syrup covered likeness onto the airport ID card you found. So long as nobody looks too closely, this could pass for you. Aren't they gonna notice the maple syrup oozing around it? You can even see it's all brown. Alright, I think I need to... I think I need to dump this. By the way, if this is actually maple syrup, then this is probably like... $10, $20 of maple syrup, because maple syrup is expensive. Gone. Now gonna dump my knife? I didn't even use it, so I probably can't. Gone. Oh no, I can. Even though I didn't use it at all. That's weird. Here's my ID. Thank you. Alright, let's see what hijinks I can get up to in here.
Ground control computer. Hmm. Hmm. Can I just tell the Chikenistan flight to come to gate two? Actually, can I do anything with this at all? It doesn't appear I can. There's a headset next to the screen. Hmm. Alright, oh god. Goodbye. <laughs> Hold on. Right, so I need... Okay. Gotta write stuff down. So I need WA229. To go to gate 1. Yeah. And then I need WA1055 to go to gate 2. Okay. There's a hit. Okay. Come in, WA229. WA229, come in over. WA229 here. Tower WA229 is 10 miles back on the left. Visual 32. You have a new gate, 229. Be advised, WA-229, your gate has been changed. Upon arrival, you'll proceed to gate 1. We'll add your tower, gate 1. WA-1055, come in over. WA-1055 here. Tower, good afternoon. We're on approach for runway 32. Maintain 6000. Be advised, WA-1055, your gate has been changed. Upon arrival, you'll proceed to Gate 2. Roger Tower, Gate 2. Hopefully, nobody will notice. Nobody will notice except the 100 plus people that are now going to go to the wrong country. Okay, so I think I'm good on stuff like no, nothing sharp, no liquids. No, I'm good to go. Go, please. Go. There we go. Go. Oh, I need to use my hands. Okay. Right. I've already been through Stop part right of this. There. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Need to go talk to the guy on the left. Just been May I see your boarding pass, please? No problem, sir. And your passport? And where did you say you were traveling to? Chikanistan. What is the purpose of your travel to Chikanistan? What do you mean, Chikanistan? It's Chikanistan. You ignorant pleb. Uh, well, I said vacation, so yeah, vacation. <laughs> Drug mule. <laughs> um, you know what? Yellow. Drug mule. <laughs> the result of that was no surprise. You only live once, and you live most of that life in prison, in this case. Stop. You've just been really... May I see? And your... And where... Chick what is... Vacation. You're taking a vacation alone, with no baggage, to an impoverished dictatorship? Mm-hmm. Care to change your story? No. No. <sighs> Do I actually need luggage? Do I even have luggage? I'm trying to think back to my home. Hmm. Okay, restore my identity. Well, it would appear that the government has lost all record of my existence. So, in order to prove that I am a living Canadian citizen, I need to provide the Department of Social Security and Citizenship some documents. Namely, a certificate of life and my birth certificate. I was adopted as a child from Chikanistan in the late 60s. My parents have since passed away. 
I don't have my original birth certificate, and I can't afford to wait for it to be shipped by the embassy. So I don't really have any choice but to fly over there, pick it up from their government offices, then fly back. When somebody gives a long, elaborate answer to a simple question, it's a good indication that they're lying. I'm not lying, it's the truth. Liars also tend to get defensive when questioned about their story. Care to change your story? And I die from stress. Okay, either I need luggage, or I need to say that I'm going there on business. Do I actually maybe need to change my passport? Like when I filled out the thing and I said I was going there, Stop right there. uh, Where on a vacation. Ch ch Can I redo that? You've just been really May I? We're about to find out if I need to. And your and ch what is business? So you're going to Chickenistan for business. Are you aware that Chickenistan is a state sponsor of terrorism? Mm, yeah. Are you aware of the human rights abuses that occur regularly in Chickenistan? Mm hmm. Did you know that the education of Chickenistani women is prohibited in most parts of the country? Sure. Did you know that Chickenistan has the third highest infant mortality rate in the world? Okay. Are you aware that upon leaving Canada, you will be subject to the harsh and unforgiving laws of Chickenistan? The Canadian mm -hmm. government will not be able to help you if you are in distress. Mm -hmm. Did you know that you can be imprisoned without cause under Chickenistani law? And that Chickenistan is not subject to the UN standard minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners? Mm -hmm. And did you pack your bags yourself, sir? Yes. Great. You have yourself a great trip then. Please ensure you are not carrying any liquids or weapons and proceed through the scanner just ahead of you. Okay. The cameras are following me. Good to go. Whoops, I clicked out of the game. Well, this should be straightforward, right? Flight attendant, shouldn't even need to talk to her. Or do I need, yeah, I guess I need to show her my ticket. I don't, I've never been on a plane. I don't know how this works. Thank you, sir. Please proceed down gate two. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, great, some guy's drooling on me. Let me get screaming babies too. Hungered and thirst. It's been a long time since you've had anything to eat or drink. You should find some food and water. Okay, now we're in the desert. And on that note, I'm gonna end the episode. Well, the game is, not surprisingly, still frustrating. Even with the walkthrough. But, I think there's, there's still enough enjoyment here for me to want to play it. I don't really, really want to play it. Really bad, it's not like, oh man, I can't wait to come back because I know I'm going to get annoyed, but it is actually somewhat of a charming game. I like the world. Kind of. Even if some of it is kind of just stupid. But some of it's actually pretty funny. So, yeah. I mean, that's alright. I'm just going to walk out into the desert. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.